Ontarians living in hotspot communities have more options now when it comes to vaccines. The province has expanded the number of pharmacies doling out the shots and has also increased both the types of shots that they can give and to whom. It's a lot to track. Laura McQuillan is on that story for us with more. So Laura, explain these changes to us. Right, Natasha. So the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines now available in pharmacies to anyone 18 plus, and this is in in a bunch of different places right across Ontario. If you go to the government's uh, vaccine website, which we will put up on the bottom of the screen for you, but it's covid-19.ontario.ca slash vaccine dash locations, it is a bit of a mouthful, you will be able to find all the details there. We'll show you some details on the screen there as well. So the Pfizer available at 78 pharmacies in Toronto and Peel now. The Moderna vaccine available in 58 pharmacies in a bunch of different areas. Durham, Hamilton, Ottawa, Windsor and York. All of these are hotspot cities, but it appears that you do not need to live in a hotspot postal code to sign up to get those shots. Uh, On the government website, it will show you which pharmacy has which vaccine. It will tell you how to contact the pharmacy. You cannot book through the government website for uh, those bookings at pharmacies. The AstraZeneca shot also still available in pharmacies across Ontario to people aged 40 plus. But with this expansion, there are some concerns that they could soon run out of doses. And just a short time ago, I spoke with the head of the Ontario Pharmacists Association, Justin Bates. He told me that each pharmacy which is getting these Pfizer or Moderna doses will get 150 shots per week. So starting on a small scale, and he said that they are going to have to be st- quite strategic in the way that they hand these out, which could mean that people have to sign up for a wait list. It might not be immediately. Here's a bit of what he told me. Right now, until we have more uh, vaccine, you know, I think many of these pharmacies will be out very quickly. And that's why we're utilizing wait lists. I mean, you only utilize wait lists when you don't have enough supply and there's high demand. So unfortunately, we probably will have to continue doing that as best we can and to make it um, hopefully as convenient and as accessible as possible. So some concerns about supply at this point in time, though the province does plan to expand this throughout the month. Not clear whether that will be more pharmacies in those same cities or whether it could be pharmacies in other cities added. We'll keep you posted on that. In the meantime, if anyone is looking for a shot, do look on the government's website for those pharmacies. But there are also the options of those mass vaccination clinics, mobile clinics, pop-up clinics. So more options becoming available, but it still might be a little bit of a wait before you can get yours. Okay, thanks so much, Laura.